A wise man once said, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Today you'll be getting a look at the first few steps on the road to pharmacy. Pharmacists are the unsung heroes of our society. Their knowledge of medications can be the difference between life and death in many patients. To develop the necessary skills to be competent in their profession, they are required to spend years honing their craft and building their knowledge. They quickly become trusted and important members of the community. But before all this, they all were just students. I chose pharmacy because I wanted to help people. I want to work in the healthcare field and I believe helping patients with their medication is a great way to help people. Starting pharmacy school is very exciting because it is starting the next chapter of my life. I'm excited to start learning the material that I will be using when I'm older in the workplace. I'm excited to like start learning how to help people. As a pre-pharmacy student, we take a lot of science classes. Currently I'm taking anatomy and physiology and organic chemistry. We also take some business classes, some English classes, and some cultural enrichment. I like being a pre-pharmacy student here because of the pre-pharm D club. It's a great way to meet people and it's cool meeting people that have the same goals as me and the same interests as me. And Ferris State's a great place to do pre-pharmacy because the teachers here are awesome. For an applicant to apply to our program, um, we require three years of pre-pharmacy coursework. It can be done at Ferris or it can be done at any undergraduate college. Um, we also require the PCAT, which would be the Pharmacy College Admissions Test. It's basically a standardized test that they have to take. And then we have an in-person interview that we use. Um, to apply, they would use a national application system. They send in their PCAT test scores and also their transcripts and then we will go ahead and evaluate them and bring them in for an in-person interview. So a pharmacist is a lot more than just a person who sits behind a desk and dispenses your medication. A pharmacist really has that knowledge to give you advice and tell you if you need to see a doctor, if there's something they can do to help you. They're essentially walking encyclopedias of drug information. Anywhere you go, there's going to be a pharmacy open. There's 24-hour pharmacies. And they'll stop at nothing to give you the best care possible. Really getting to know your patient and where their medications and diet and things fit into their life and what changes you can make to help them get better. So the teachers in this program are genuinely invested in all of us as both current students and future pharmacists. You know, they give 110%. Ferris is awesome. It's really provided like the nurturing environment, the supportive surroundings that I need to really grow as a pharmacist. I'm somewhat biased towards hospital pharmacy. Um, I work in a hospital pharmacy right now. Everything I hear about pharmacy, I'm like, that'd be really cool. I could do that. To a prospective student interested in pharmacy, I would say, buckle up. It's a bit of a rough ride, you know, you'll be taking 12, 13 credits each semester, you're going to have summer classes for probably about three years, and that's just undergrad. You know, once you get in the program, it's just ramped up. It's worth it. You make new friends, you make connections, and you just, you get to interact with this truly unique professional program and professional audience that's the world of pharmacy. I definitely say like keep your options open. Investigate things that you're not sure about. Like if you don't know if you like hospital, make sure you go check that out and see what it's about. There's so many awesome opportunities between clubs and job shadows, classes. Just balancing that with studying, it's kind of hard, but it's manageable. And I think it really enriches your experience as a student. Don't simply just do school. You know, schedule time for other things too, because that's just as important. Pharmacists for the longest time have been the, the second most trusted um, healthcare profession in the United States, and along with that, um, one of the most accessible healthcare providers to the community. Fair State College of Pharmacy is preparing me to succeed personally uh, as being a part of that lasting legacy of 125 years of, of pharmacists that have been out in the workforce uh, to practice. They teach excellent clinical applications. They've urged me to become a better person and a better professional uh, so that when I get out into the world and interact with patients, I can give them the best care possible. 
Uh, the most challenging aspect of pharmacy school, hands down, is the, uh, the school uh, life balance. Um, because Ferris does such a great job of preparing us as pharmacists to go out into the world and practice, I find myself in a position where I spend a lot of time studying and preparing to, to do well in the material so that I really feel as though I master it. So finding, uh, finding that balance is it's, it's important, it's crucial uh, to kind of maintaining uh, your sanity during pharmacy school. If I could give one piece of advice for a student coming into pharmacy, I would definitely have to say um, take the hardest classes you can uh, in the undergrad uh, setting. It will do nothing but benefit you as you move forward uh, and prepare you for the rigors of pharmacy school. OSCE is it's a, a live exam that we go through where they give us patient scenarios and we sit down for a few minutes and review them and then we go in and we get to talk to an actual patient and we get to ask them uh, certain questions about their disease states and everything that goes along with it and then find out what the underlying issue is and then come up with a plan from previous knowledge in the classroom that we implement. The ASCII is meant to kind of give us experience with talking to patients and providers and giving recommendations based off of guidelines and um, basically taking in all patient factors in order to make a recommendation and then formulate good options for our patients. They bring in people from the community where we get a chance to um, use our skills to try and make a change in the patient's care uh, based on a clinical case that was developed by the faculty and try and use our communication skills to implement that change in an effective way. We get to ask them uh, certain questions about their disease states and everything that goes along with it and then find out what the underlying issue is and then come up with a plan from previous knowledge in the classroom that we implement. It gives us the opportunity to practice a lot of the skills that we are going to use out in practice, um, get comfortable with different guidelines and practice asking important questions that we might not have considered you know just by getting experience through working at a community pharmacy or something like that, focusing more so on those key components that need to be included when we're supposed to be talking to patients and providers. We're so focused on learning the material and the medications and, and the guidelines that sometimes I think we forget that we're applying this knowledge we have to actual patients and real world people. So it's nice to be able to sit down and gain that confidence of interacting with patients and providers in order to uh, display the knowledge that we've spent uh, so much hard work learning and being able to, to implement that. If you put us in a pharmacy with a, um, a patient, you could almost take that, what we're doing in OSCE, and apply it to real life pharmacy and you're doing the same thing. But so it really helps to apply everything that you learned into a real practice setting. Kind of a low stakes environment where you get good feedback to kind of take and learn from and then apply at your next encounter. A pharmacist to me is a trusted medical professional that has the um, education similar to a medical doctor but is more geared towards the focus of drug information and how to utilize that information towards appropriate health care either in a clinical or a community setting. I'm currently waiting to find out if I got accepted to a residency. However, um, if I don't get accepted to a residency, I would like to do something in the clinical nature in the realm of pharmacy. Definitely time management has been the biggest challenge. There is a lot of heavy workload to do, but it's also important to offset that with social life and social balance, and everybody should be aware that there is, you have to find time to do a hobby or have a little bit of social life on the side. The most fulfilling part is finishing my last educational-based lecture exam in Grand Rapids on the third year and moving on to the fourth year and using all the education that we learned from the first to the third year towards clinical practice. Grades are important but should not be geared only towards 
absolutely phenomenal grades. It's also important to look for unique opportunities by giving, getting involved in your community, getting a unique job, and don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. So when I think of what a pharmacist is, I think it's a, a caring person who wants to help patients get the most from their medications. They have an ability to interact with people and to be empathetic and understand the people that they're serving. And also they need to have the skill of being a problem solver because in our healthcare system today there's a lot of things that can go wrong. I look at health professionals as individuals who have made the commitment of a life of service to uh, those that are suffering from illness. I think it's somebody that would should be comfortable taking care of patients' medications, being able to answer medications for a variety of people from patients to healthcare providers. Um, and so I think that's really kind of what our role is, is to really be those people that manage medication from a variety of perspectives. The program at Ferris is, is a unique program among pharmacy programs in that our faculty truly teach they engage with the students, they're in the classrooms, they know the students. It truly is a, a community here of faculty and students working together. What certainly you can see throughout our 125 year history is this commitment to pharmacy. It's that commitment to the profession of pharmacy and the broad profession of pharmacy that truly is unique about our institution. That is all we've done for 125 years. There's a great opportunity for students here and, and, and really for them to enter the College of Pharmacy. They can come through our pre-pharmacy program or they can apply from other programs. We accept students from community colleges as well as other four-year programs.